We all thought the morning announcement was a prank. There was no way it could be real. From today onward, droned Nelson Lebowski's voice from the loudspeaker, all Friday detention will be held in the fiery pits of hell. Don't forget to bring homework. As the biggest troublemaker of our prissy Christian Academy, it was no, I was no stranger to detention. I figured that after Nelson's stunt at the intercom, we wouldn't even need to show up. And technically, we didn't. The second the bell rung after school, me and every other attention, attention-bound student were instantly transported to an enormous fiery cabin. Dis- distracted by the Im- immense heat, it took a few seconds before we realized that we were standing on a sea of writhing clawed fingers. The cries scaled the chamber's walls, the skin burning off their faces again and again as we tried our hardest to ignore them. After an hour, they seemed like eternity. The hellscape vanished, leaving us sitting in the school's chapel. It was the only thing that our chaplain revealed to us the nature of our punishment. <laughs> what you students just saw, he gloated, was a glimpse of what awaits the sinful. Let your time in hell be painful reminder never to stray from the path of our righteousness again. Some students were too traumatized by what they witnessed that they simply stopped coming to school. Rumor has it several were institutionalized. Others were instead furious, swearing to make the world believe the impossible story of what the school was doing. These efforts didn't fail where. Mostly pupils just spiraled, falling further and further into the vice-like self-fulfillment prophecy. But I wouldn't. I was determined to take something away from this experience, to use it as a catalyst for a positive change in my life. No, I wasn't going to crash and burn, ending up as one of those suffering, screaming souls one day. Just like our chaplain had intended, I started studying hard and valuing the wisdom of my lesson. And although I still spent detention in hell every week, in just a few months, I'd become a straight A student in the one class that matters. To top it off, I even had the apprenticeship waiting for me after I graduated. For the first time ever, my life was going somewhere. <laughs> but I can't take all the credit for that. Nor can my foolish school chaplain. Lucifer is a great teacher. <laughs>